stop the world. They might see just who I am. If I could trust my wings and fly, I just might find my place in the wind. Hey, stop! No, this is for the musical name. You're good. Yeah, right. Delete that video, Tristan. Nope. Jerk, delete it! Students, what seems to be the problem? It was recording. Quiet. quiet. Now, Tristan, explain, please. I was just saying, meet up with the musical. Hmm. Is that an electric guitar name? Um, yes. That instrument is not only approved list for music classes at Emerald City Prep. Please put it in your locker immediately. The space is now required for assembly preparations. I think you both have somewhere to be. Yes, Vice Principal Steele. <laughs> Morning, all. I trust everyone is in good voice today. Yes. Good morning. Yes. Shall we?
just who I am. If I could trust my wings and fly, I just might find my place in the wind. But I find my wings have no strength to soar when I feel the pressure building. Vintage 
Phoebe's Telecaster. What schmuck would throw this away? Pardon? Oh, <clears throat> seems a student has misplaced their instrument. On, I believe that belongs to one of your summer advanced placement students, Nate. I'll make sure to return it to him at my first opportunity. Thank you for the tour. Da 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 there's something suspicious about that new summer school teacher. Smith? Smith! Yes? Do me a favor. Keep your eye on Rockwell, would you? Does this mean I get to be sneaky? <laughs> sure, sure. And report whatever you find to me, and it's only me. I knew that junior detective kid I saved from the landfill would come in handy. Penny, great, your earbuds are in. You don't need to shout. We should handle this calmly. Oh, hi. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Penny, when were you going to tell? Please. Penny, a letter came in the mail informing us you didn't pass your advanced studies exams. You were feeling a little hurt you didn't tell us. You know you can tell us anything, sweetie. I'm sorry, I guess. Sorry? You guess? We made a deal, Penny. This is an expensive school for serious students. We've already spoken to Principal Quick. There you go again, not listening. You know, other people in this family have feelings too. Go ahead, Penny, we're listening. I, I don't know what happened. I'm confused. We're confused too. You told us you were going to study really hard. I did! Don't interrupt! Really? Even in the library? I can't do this. Not if you're going to yell all the time. Great, just run and hide. This isn't over, young lady. Great, why do I even bother? educational enrichment. Others of you will be working hard to achieve your goals right here at Emerald City Prep under Vice Principal Steele's watchful eye. But wherever you find yourself this summer, remember to achieve, achieve, achieve. So without further ado, I say adieu to you and you and you from Emerald City Prep. Well, that's a wrap. Thanks for holding down the fort while I stay away. My pleasure.
You asked to see me? Yes, yes. I've noticed something about you, Smith. You have? Was the napkin too much? I just noticed this chair was new. Yes. That's what I like about you. You notice things. You notice people. You're a noticer. Well, I think you're the only one who's noticed. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. I'm going to keep up the good work. You're an encourager. You're a noticer. You're funny. Well, well, I notice things too. Please be seated. My name is Mr. Rockwell, but you may call me Mr. Rockwell. Right on, Mr. Rock. No, 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 that will never do. Take a seat, Riker. Ah, oh, Miss Steele, come and wish me glad tidings on my first day. So kind, so kind. Have a great Monday, Miss Steele. <laughs>
Subject just exited the classroom a full three hours earlier than expected, properly recycling a stack of papers, suggesting good character. Upon further inspection, papers seem to be a quiz. Subject of said quiz seems to be related to classic rock and the Seattle drum scene. Subject matter seems to be inconsistent with the subject matter on the syllabus from the previous summer school classes. Who is this teacher, really? At this point, nobody knows. Nate's guitar must be 
broke in. Have you heard Nate sing? His voice is so sweet. But every time I try to say hi to him, he always ditches me. Aw, oh, he's so cool. You really think so? This is Nate we're talking about, remember? <laughs> Come on, let's go spy a little. Hey there, uh, excuse me, I'm looking for Hal's instrument repair. Oh yeah, that's me, I'm Hal. Sorry, you caught me sneaking out for a snack. Oh well, I need a tuna. Standard guitar tuned up and repair start at $100. But for this beauty, we'll have to order in some specialty parts. Sheesh, a hundred bucks? Cheaper to do it yourself. Rock can teach ya. Rock? You mean Mr. Rockwell? You talking about the same person here? I don't know, dude. I thought Rock sent ya. How long for the parts? Something like two to three weeks. Looks like I'm not going to have a summer school anytime soon. You want me to place the order? Yes, please. All right, see you in a couple weeks. And say hi to Rock for me. Sure. Oh my gosh, I'm still wearing the hat. Do you think he saw me? Do you think I look like a dweeb? I don't know. You think too much. <laughs> Can someone 
time machine record? This isn't over. <laughs> I am nine days into my investigation. Subject has been easy to observe, never erratic, unlike the first day. Subject has regularly observed normal classroom hours and unswerving habits. Student demeanor of confusion, anger, and boredom hovering dangerously just beneath the surface seems to be consistent with past summer school classes. The proper methods of sorting garbage are being observed by class and teacher. Occasionally, loud music can be heard coming from subject's classroom before classroom hours. During my investigation, I uncovered a student's attempt to keep her attendance in summer school a secret from her friends. The truth has now been uncovered, and the jury is out on how the situation will play out. But on a personal note,
about harming yourself. No, no. But thanks for asking. I know that's a hard question to ask. Isn't that what friends are for? To ask the hard questions. I guess I just didn't know how to tell you that things are changing. I haven't changed it. Sorry we didn't notice. Or really listen, I guess. Oh, stop it, you guys. I totally lied to you. Or at least kept it from you. Pretended. I had already disappointed my parents. Ruined their summer plans. And I just couldn't disappoint you too. Police. I made 40, 47 mistakes before breakfast. I <laughs> promise we can be real with each other from now on. Yes, please. Besides, this is the craziest development possible and has made our summer incredibly more interesting. I can't believe Rocco is the missing lead singer and composer of Rock Time Machine. Are you guys ready for this intervention? What intervention? Just follow our lead.
looking at me like I was the sun and they were the moon. Hello, Seattle! If 
I write out a list of the coolest bands, do you all go download the albums and study them? Of course, you're the coolest. Wow, okay. I better use my power for good. All right, come closer. I'm about to tell you all the secret to being cool. First, wear all black clothing. Then put a penny in your left shoe, style your hair into a mohawk, and all your dreams will come true. Stop messing with us. Look, cool is not something you can copy or fake. It's not just skin deep. And I'm not as cool as you think I am. I'm not. Then it's hopeless. Look, go do some rock and roll research on your own time. And we'll talk about this some more tomorrow. Subject, Rockwell paid me a wonderful compliment yesterday. But something about that compliment is rolling around in my subconscious like a Jim Schumann and clothes dryer. There are artists living among us. You all did your research last night, right? So, who's up first for presentations? Presentations make me anxious. Wait, wait, wait! Presentations? I thought this was gonna be fun! Why would we read about rock and roll when we've got an actual rock star right here to interview? Yeah! yeah. You're not gonna leave me alone until I tell you, are you? No! no? All right then, I'll take your questions. Hit me with your best shot. Kind of like being teacher's pet. Wish I could say it was like all day was recess. That I didn't end up all alone. But life out on the open road must have been fun. We didn't even have an address. Did you have groupies? <laughs> yes, but I've got to confess. Wish I could say that I have no regrets. That I didn't end up all alone. rocking out that everything else fades away and I've got to say life can feel so warm like you can do no harm and it may feel like it will never end glory becomes your only friend did you ever get nervous? why did you quit? what happened? what? Are, are you choking? I go. 
How about you come into work a couple hours on some Saturdays? You mean it? Sure. Hal here has a lot more to teach you about guitars. Now come on, the rest of the band's waiting for us at Bells. See you later. Frieza, what do you think? Awesome. Hey, check this out. I got my guitar fixed.
face whatever way to me my secret comes out. You do not trust? I'm not going to abandon my band.
So what you're telling me is we're sitting on a gold mine. We could launch a rock time machine reunion right here at Emerald City Prep and fund all kinds of programs. Think of the fancy fundraising dinners. A gala! Mind me from your history books. Better uniforms. Emerald City Prep would finally get all the glory and notoriety it deserves. Sister, are we really going to let history repeat itself? Like glory destroyed what we built together? Couldn't forgive myself if the glory monster destroyed us again. And it could be fun, and a nice way to use the budget a little. Yeah, yeah. 